Time to play on NTV. Well, eight pros and six amateur Kenyan golfers will be part of the 156 players set to take part in the 53rd edition of the Magical Kenya Open. The will return to Muthaiga Country Club on the weekend of March 3rd to 6th. This year marks the first time Muthaiga Country Club is hosting the championship as a European tour event. Now, the Kenya Open Golf Championship will see the winner go home with prize money worth 2 million US dollars. This year, spectators will have a chance to cheer on the golfers, but under strict regulations of the COVID-19 pandemic, the tour was officially launched by the Cabinet Secretary for Sports, Culture and Heritage, Amina Mohammed, who also inspected the Muthaiga Golf Club's preparedness for the tournament. We are aware now the event has been changed from the European Tour to the DP World Tour. So the DP World Tour is the one who has said any of the events, the minimum prize money is two million dollars. Great. Now, Asbel Kiprop is back. The three-time world champion has resumed training after his four-year doping ban elapsed this week. Our reporter Steve Kitter witnessed the middle distance runner's first training session at the Kipchoge Kano Stadium in Eldoret and tells us just how the champion is plotting a comeback in the world of athletics. The last time Asbel Kiprop was allowed to train with the fellow athletes, or in a public sports facility was four years ago. The 32-year-old was banned by the then IAAF's Athletics Integrity Unit after testing positive for the banned performance-enhancing substance, EPO. So I feel relieved. I feel now my life is coming back to normalcy, and um, I really appreciate his friends and that they have welcomed me. Kiprop, who consistently pledged innocence, went through a public meltdown and a mental health battle which he says led to alienation by the community. But it's okay, uh, it's understandable. To, to, to me, I understand their situation. I, I do not uh, put a crutch on any other person that, uh, that even talk bad about, about that, uh, the situation I was going through. Uh, but now I am back and I'm happy because I am able to, to be in the society, I can call it the, the society of, uh, of, of athletics. Before his career halted, Kiprop was a force to reckon with in the 1500 meters race. He won three consecutive world championships between 2011 and 2015, and prior to that, was awarded the 2008 Olympic gold medal after the original winner Rashid Ramzi tested positive for doping. The 32-year-old is now setting his sights on a different challenge. I'm, I'm thinking of running a different race uh, because I've done a lap, a lap in the 1500. Uh, I, I, there's no medal that I do not have in the 1500. And um, I'm trying to, to gauge and see which event I'm going to, to, to run uh, ahead of the trials. A series of major competitions such as the Commonwealth Games and the World Championships are lined up for the 2022 season, giving Kipro potential for a global comeback. However, the Olympic champion wants to pace himself. I believe in gradual uh, progress, starting from the training, and uh, possibly what I am uh, eyeing, the main event I am eyeing is the police championships on 6th of, of April, uh, so that I can be able to earn myself a ticket to the national championships and uh, be able to qualify for trials, and if I'm lucky enough to, to, to make the team for the world championships, I'll be able to represent uh, Kenya at the uh, Oliver. He had this to say to fellow athletes and his fans. That's what I'm telling them is that I am back. Um, hopefully, wish me well uh, so that I make you proud again. Thank you. After four years in the dark cloud of doping allegations, Asbel Kiprop hopes that just like the proverbial phoenix, he will rise and soar to the top of the world of athletics once again. Steve Getter, NTV Sport.